Today I'm going to talk about quantum time and an application, a recent application about quantum time measurement. This is a small part of, uh, of the outcome of uh, an FQXI grant we had, me, Seth Lloyd, who is here, and Vittorio Giovannetti a few years ago. So, quantum time. Uh, basically, if you look at time in textbook quantum mechanics, it's just a classical parameter that indicates what is shown on a classical clock, and this is unacceptable from a foundational point of view because if you believe in quantum mechanics, classical clocks do not exist. So the idea is very simple. You define time as what is shown on a clock and then use a quantum clock, a quantum reference uh, system. And this is an idea that has been discovered many times in the literature. Last time, maybe Page and Wouters in the 80s, and then it was abandoned and we uh, recovered it by uh, basically uh, showing that when it was abandoned, it was because some objections were raised against this construction, and we, we showed how we can overcome these uh, objections, but I don't have time to, to show that. What I'm going to tell you is that basically this idea amounts, uh, if you go through Dirac's uh, constraint quantum mechanics, it amounts and basically saying that the state of the global system, including the reference, so the global system is something that has an internal time evolution. The state of the global system is an entangled state between the state of the clock showing time t and the state of the system, which is a separate system, qu separate quantum system, that is in the state psi at time t. Okay, and, and then time is just correlations, entanglement between the system here and the clock here, okay? So basically what happens is it's a sort of a conditional probability interpretation because what happens is if you take this global, this global state, you have the internal degrees of freedom of the system, this x, y axis, and then internally you also have the t degrees of freedom of the time. And if you condition, you can see it clearly from this uh, state here, if you condition on the clock showing time t0, you get the state of the system psi at time t0. So it's a condition state. Now, this is the quantum time mechanism, and what we did recently in collaboration with Christoph Sacha in uh, uh, University of uh, Krakow is to apply this to derive a time of arrival uh, um, measurement. So basically the time of arrival, you have a particle and you want to know at what time it arrives at position D. Okay, so you start again from this construction, you have a clock, you add to the particle a clock and then you consider the global state of the clock and the particle. The, the, the particle only has positional degrees of freedom, of course. It's just a simple particle. And then you can introduce a projective view of EM of this sort, which projects the clock to the time t and projects the particle to the position at, of the detector. Okay? And the outcome t is connected to the outcome that the particle is at position d and the time is t. Of course, you have to add an outcome that tells you that the particle has not arrived in order to have a POVM. Okay, now you have a POVM, you have a state, you can use the Born rule to obtain the probability distribution. This is a joint probability distribution that the time is t and that the particle is at position D. And you can see that it is obtained from the Born rule. And as you would expect, it's just given by the square modules of the wave function. So that's what one would naively expect. This is a joint probability. Then you can obtain the probability just for the time, the probability that the time is t given that the particle has arrived, just through the Bayes rule. And again, it's the square modulus of the probability amplitude suitably normalized. And, and that's it. So you get a probability, a, a time measurement, a, a quantum measurement of time. Uh, and the important thing to notice is this is a property of the clock, the time, okay, I have to cut and not a property of the particle as in other proposals. Thank you.